Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I have said it many times before, and I have no doubt I will get to say it again. The Germans send me the coolest stuff. I recently saw a post by uh, Devil Z Nerf Works uh, about this. It is a pusher for a strife that will push both regular sized darts and half darts if you have the right um, Magwell adapter. And I simply had to have a pair, so I ordered a pair. And apparently they recognized me from, you know, my name or my address or what have you. And so they threw in a couple of um, extra parts, which is just super cool. They sent me a pair of these, which, as you may have guessed from the blaster here, is a replacement trigger for the Snapfire. Now, I used the Snapfire in a K26 episode and then went ahead and did some upgrades to it. I brassed the barrel and took out some dev space and all of that. Um... But it, the problem was the catch couldn't take a particularly heavy spring load. However, Millen from Devil Z Nerf Works sent me a pair of them. One for me and one for Walcom because Walcom loves the Snapfire and was recently gifted like a dozen of them by a fan. That was a fun video. Um, and he said that this would be able to take just about whatever spring load you could possibly want to put in it. Uh, the issue would become uh, whether or not it would release, not whether it would catch. And I originally put, I believe, Hillman 62 in it. And it came in at about 14 kilograms of draw. And it would catch, but it wouldn't release. Um, so I took it down. I believe there is now a Tech 6 spring and a stock hammer shot spring in here. And it's coming in at about 13 kilograms. And now it will catch and release. Uh, so I modified the... <coughs> I then modified the um, uh, plunger rod to have a key ring so that I could actually draw it because when I took out the dead space, there now wasn't enough room for your fingers in there to get in comfortably. So I added that. Uh, it still has the same brass barrel, and it is now getting about 80 FPS and shooting around 65 to 70 feet, which is amazing for a pistol this small, uh, as it is essentially a, a straightened jolt, possibly a little bit more... Um, room in the plunger tube, uh, but not a whole lot. And so that is pretty impressive. Um, Millen has a longer brass barrel on his, uh, and then has a, uh, a ramrod that he can use to push the dart back. And he said he was getting up to a hundred FPS. And I may try that with an, uh, a second one. I do have, I believe another one still in box and I could, I might be able to talk while I'm out of one. Um, but that is fairly impressive, I think, for a pistol this small. I definitely need to come up with a holster of some kind for it. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it would fit in a small, regular pistol holster, given how small it is, but um, I'd like to get this into my loadout somewhere, just because I really like it now. Uh, it also shot very, very straight, which I was impressed. I was firing men guns, and it got uh, wonderful accuracy out of it. Uh, I do plan to come up with something for these. He is also working on a full auto version to go with any of the various uh, full auto kits, or he may design his own full auto kit. I'm not sure which. Uh, this one is just for semi-auto, so I may have to make myself yet another pair, because I did buy two of them, um, of strifes to go with my, my various loadouts, because I can um, carry two strifes in my holsters. Um, maybe I will build uh, some Valkyrie builds. No, because the expanded battery tray won't... Well, it might fit in my holster. I'll, it'll depend. Um, if I can get a small enough um, 3S LiPo, I might try building a, uh, a Valkyrie loadout using these. Or if that won't work, then I'll probably just go with Michelle 2s because they're my favorite because they work so beautifully on the 2S LiPos that fit beautifully in Strife cages, so, yeah. This is, of course, a really short one. I am working on some really big um, builds, some actual complicated integrations. I decided it was finally time to build some proper war primaries, um, and so I've got two that are in the works. I'm still waiting on just a couple of parts before I can really start those builds, and they are going to be long and complicated and fantastic, and I, I hope to get them done while there are still some wars in this season. If not, I have some pretty big plans for next year for events that I want to uh, hopefully start hosting. Um, and in which case, having a truly heavy war primary may actually be valuable. And the, and the wars that we generally go to uh, at Fort Borst, um, they're so chaotic and so mixed. 
uh, no one person's loadout really makes that much of a difference on the battlefield. I mean, even um, Prometheus's and Hurricanes and Proton Packs um, don't actually shift the balance as much as you would think, uh, largely because of how many you know caliburns we have now to snipe those sorts of um, spam blasters. But uh, I'm having I have plans for something that might actually it would where it might actually make a difference. Um, but We'll see how that pans out by this time next year. Uh, but, yeah, should be some fun builds in the near future now that the the big events that I had, uh, Afterworlds and uh, West vs. Zombies, are out of the way. There is another Afterworlds later in the year, but it's not until October, I think. Might be September. I think it's October, though. So, uh, got some time to work on some personal builds. Plus, I've got the big integration for uh, Jomo that I need to get seriously started on. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I should hopefully be featuring... or nah, In the near future, I'll be featuring another item that came to me from a German. This one came from RE Armory. He designed me something that I asked him for. And uh, it's almost done. I'm, once again, waiting on a couple more parts to print as well as a few items to arrive. And then I'll be able to show out that. It is more of a loadout rather than an actual build. Um but it should be pretty wicked when it gets all said and done. So, look forward to that. I hope you found this at least vaguely interesting. I would have done a, a firing video, but it's pitch black out by the time I got this filmed. I actually did do a build video where I went through the springs and all of that, uh, but I forgot to turn the autofocus off, and so the footage was completely unusable. So, now it's too late for me to do firing demonstrations, uh, but uh, it fires lovely. So, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh